Good morning, peoples. How are you? Let's start our new lesson. The theme of our lesson, going to the extra mile to help. Open the page number 42, people's book. Read the code. What message does it convey? My hope is to make people realize they are capable of much more than they think. Katie Spots. This message is for people to believe in themselves and to feel confident enough to try new things. The new words. Ankle. Assistance. Awareness. Charity. Determination. Feet. Get stung. Honor. Incredible. Inspiration. Objective. Overcome obstacles. Persist. Poverty. Row. Solo. Spotlight. Now, let's continue our lesson. How is the quote related to the text? Listen and read to find out. Going the extra mile to help. Sometimes people are kinder and more generous than we can ever imagine. So we've decided to honor young people all over the world who have worked hard and who have really gone that extra mile to help a cause. In the spotlight this week is Katie Spots, who became the youngest person to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Breaking a record, however, was not Katie's only ambition. She wanted to do something far more important than accomplish a personal goal. This American girl rode an incredible 4,533 kilometers from Senegal to Guyana in her six-meter rowing boat to raise money and awareness for the Blue Planet Run Foundation, whose objective is to get clean drinking water to over one billion people worldwide. Katie rode over 10 hours a day for 70 days and raised over $70,000 for the foundation. She hopes her feat will encourage other young people. Do you know any more stories about amazing young people who have overcome obstacles to help others? Post them here. Post your comment. Wow, Katie really deserves our respect. I know of another person who did something physically difficult to help a charity. An 18-year-old named Chris Alberton once broke his ankle so badly that the doctor said he might never walk properly again. Amazingly, he climbed 6,000 meters to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain. He did it with 59 other students, and together they raised a total of 138,000 pounds for Childreach International a charity that helps children and their families who live in poverty. Posted by Lizzie on the 3rd of the 10th. Both Katie and Chris are a true inspiration to everyone. Here in Lincoln, England, Luke Birch is a bit of a local hero. He swam 33 kilometers across the cold waters of the English Channel for charity. The scary thing is that he got stung by a jellyfish. Unfortunately, the rules of the charity event didn't allow him any assistance, so he kept swimming, despite the pain of the sting. It must have been tough for him with the rough waters and windy conditions, but Luke persisted and arrived in France after 14 hours. Thanks to his determination, he raised £7,885 for Macmillan Cancer Support in the UK and Planting Promise, a charity that helps build schools in Sierra Leone. Luke really overcame obstacles to help people in need. Posted by Nate, the 7th of the 10th. 
Exercise 2, it's a homework. Read the text again and decide if the sentences are true or false. Now, watching the video. Going the extra mile to help. Do you enjoy a challenge? Are you interested in charity work? Can you climb a mountain or cycle thousands of miles to help people in need? Sometimes, people are kinder and more generous than we can ever imagine. There are many young people around the world who deserve to be honoured. They have worked hard and have really gone that extra mile to help an important cause. Take Katie Spots, for example. She became the first person to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean. But breaking a record was not her only ambition. She wasn't just interested in accomplishing a personal goal. My hope is to make people realise they're capable of much more than they think, Katie says. The 22-year-old African girl rode an incredible 4,533 kilometres from Senegal to Guyana in her six-metre rowing boat. She did this to raise money and awareness for the Blue Planet Run Foundation. It is an organisation whose objective is to get clean drinking water to over 1 billion people worldwide. Katie rode over 10 hours a day for 70 days and raised over $70,000 for the foundation. She hopes her feat will encourage other young people too. But Katie is not alone. There are other amazing young people out there who have overcome obstacles to help others. They have accomplished many physically difficult tasks to help a charity. An 18-year-old named Chris Alberton from Exeter, UK was really brave. He had broken his ankle so badly that the doctor said he might never walk properly again. But Chris had a dream and would do anything to make it come true. He managed to climb 6,000 metres to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain. He did it with 59 other students, and together they raised a total of £138,000 for Child Reach International. This is a charity that helps children and their families who live in poverty. Both Katie and Chris are a true inspiration to everyone. Our last example comes from the UK. Here, there is an 18-year-old named Luke Birch, who is a bit of a local hero. He swam 33 kilometres across the cold waters of the English Channel for charity. The scary thing is that he got stung by a jellyfish. Unfortunately, the rules of the charity event didn't allow him any assistance. But he kept swimming despite the pain of the sting. He faced rough waters and windy conditions, but he persisted. Finally, he arrived in France after 14 hours. Thanks to his determination, he raised £7,885 for Macmillan Cancer Support in the UK. Some of the money also went to Planting Promise, a charity that helps build schools in Sierra Leone. Have you heard any other stories about people like Katie or Luke? Why do you think charity work is important? <laughs>